Hey guys, Davin Lim, Dermatologist. So you'd like to know more about TCA or trichloroacetic acid peels when it comes to treating pigmentation, in particular, melasma. So I base this whole video on my experience over the last 20 years, but also what's in the literature. But bear in mind, the recommendations that you would read about really depends on the author, but also the year of publication. In the past, TCA peels have been a novel solution for the treatment of melasma especially when we're talking about 30 years ago however now the paradigm has shifted and we're looking at more gentle novel peels such as the cosmolan the dermalan dermalan as well as the v precision peel as well as other compounded solutions which are lower in concentration and less downtime compared to traditional method of peeling now tca peels are categorized as either superficial to medium depth peels it all depends on the concentration, how you prep your skin, as well as the number of coats and what you use with the peel. So it can be as low as a superficial peel in somewhere between 5 to 8% TCA, 1 to 2 coats. It can be as deep as a medium to deep peel if you're using something like a Jesna peel. So in other words, your lactic acid, salicylic acid, as well as your resorcinol as a pre-peel prep together with an acetone scrub and maybe doing two to three to four layers of your TCA and varying concentrations between 28 all the way up to 35%. So in the context of superficial peeling, it can help some cases of melasma. And what it does is that it exfoliates the upper part of your skin, known as your epidermis, together with the uppermost layer called your stratum pollinum. The downtime for using such a, a shallow peel is around three to four days. So you may have some superficial desquamation or peeling that's limited. In the context of melasma, if you're using a very low concentration, the chances of rebound is extremely low. Now in the past, when I'm in the past 20 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, we were using TCA at much higher concentration. So I did used to use that peel about a decade and a half to two decades ago. However, this has been superseded with more mainstream treatment for melasma. Having said that, TCA or Jesna TCA is still an excellent peel, a really excellent peel for non-melasma pigment. So when we're talking about sun damage, freckles, lintigos, even stuff like solar keratosis or pigmented solar keratosis, the traditional Jesna TCA, where you're looking at a downtime of between eight to 10 days, still offers a very, very good solution because it can not only treat pigment, but it can also reduce wrinkles. The caution, of course, is that it can only be used on lighter skin types, skin types one to skin types two. If you're pushing it for darker skin type, then the chances of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation escalates. So just to summarize, TCA peels, excellent peel, for non melasma pigment. It can be limited to lighter skin types. If you're talking about melasma, there are many other peels, for example, the novel peeling using your Dermomelan, Cosmolan, V Precision, as well as your high strength retinoic acid peels and your high strength hydroquinone peels. They're the ones that can give you better results with less chance of rebound and also much less recovery compared to traditional TCA peel.